Dexter Axle maintains the highest standards in the industry for quality trailer running gear. Our axle components are engineered to provide you with the finest towing and stopping performance available today. When it comes to installing these components, we have established an approved method to ensure safe, reliable operation, as well as personal safety to you as you complete the work. Please use the following instructions as your guide when performing service and maintenance on standard bearings. When removing the hub equipment on your axle for inspection or maintenance, start by elevating and supporting the trailer unit per the manufacturer's instructions. Please note, you must follow the maintenance procedures to prevent damage to important structural components such as wheel bearings. Damage can cause the wheel end to come off the axle. Loss of a wheel end while the trailer is moving can cause you to lose control and lead to an accident, possibly resulting in serious injury or death. Once the elevated trailer unit is supported correctly, remove the wheel. Then remove the grease cap by carefully prying around the flange of the cap. Next, remove the cotter pin or spindle nut retainer for easy lube from the axle. Unscrew the spindle nut and remove the spindle washer. Now remove the hub from the spindle. Be careful not to let the outer bearing cone fall out. The seal retains the inner bearing cone. Now it's time to remove the seal. Pry the seal out of the hub with a screwdriver or other suitable tool. Never drive the seal out with the inner bearing as you may damage the bearing. Next, you'll need to inspect and clean the bearings along with the spindle. Using a suitable solvent, wash all grease and oil from the bearing cone and spindle. Use a clean, lint-free cloth to dry the components. Do not spin the bearing with compressed air, as this can cause damage to the bearing. Inspect the bearings completely. If you notice any pitting, spalling, or corrosion present, you'll need to replace the bearing. The bearing cup inside the hub must also be inspected. It's important to note that bearings must always be replaced in sets of a cone and a cup. Be sure to wear safety glasses when removing or installing force-fitted parts. Failure to do so may result in a serious eye injury. Proceed as follows when replacing the bearing cup. First, place the hub on a flat work surface with the cup to be replaced on the bottom side. Next, use a brass drift punch and carefully tap around the small diameter end of the cup to drive it out. Last, after cleaning the hub bore area, replace the cup by tapping it in with the brass drift punch. Make sure the cup is seated all the way up against the retaining shoulder in the hub. Remember to use genuine Dexter replacement parts. It's imperative to replace only with bearings as specified in the bearing replacement chart which is located in Dexter Axel's Operations Maintenance Service Manual and website at www.dexteraxel.com. Correct bearing lubrication is essential to the proper function and reliability of your trailer axle. Bearings should be lubricated every 12 months or 12,000 miles and only approved grease sources should be used. These are listed in your current Dexter Operation Maintenance Service Manual. If you're changing from one grease to another, make sure all of the old grease has been removed. Never mix lithium, calcium, sodium, or barium complex greases due to possible compatibility problems. To correctly repack bearing cones, first place some grease in the palm of your hand. Press a section of the widest end of the bearing into the outer edge of the grease pile closest to your thumb, forcing grease into the interior of the bearing. Repeat this while rotating the bearing from roller to roller. You'll need to continue this process until you have the entire bearing completely filled with grease. Before reinstalling, apply a light coat of grease to the bearing cup. Replace the old seal with a new one. 
Use only genuine Dexter Axle replacement seals. See www.dexteraxle.com for a complete listing of Dexter Axle distributors. Next, apply a sealant similar to Permatex High Temp Red RTV silicone gasket to the outside of the new seal. Don't use a sealant on rubber encased seals. Now tap the new seal into place using a clean wood block. Now you're ready to adjust the bearing and replace the hub. Please follow the correct adjustment procedures instructions carefully. After placing the hub bearings, washers, and spindle nut back on the axle spindle in the reverse order in which they were removed, rotate the hub assembly slowly while tightening the spindle nut to approximately 50 foot-pounds. Use a 12-inch wrench or pliers with full hand force to do this. Next, loosen the spindle nut to remove the torque. Do not rotate the hub. Finger tighten the spindle nut until just snug. If using a cotter pin, then back the spindle nut out slightly until the first castellation lines up with the cotter keyhole and insert the cotter pin, bend over the cotter pin legs to secure the nut or install spindle nut retainer. Make sure the nut is free to move with the only restraint being the cotter pin or spindle nut retainer. You have now completed the Dexter approved bearing service and maintenance procedures.